Hello everyone, Argzy here. Welcome along to a first look at Trailer Park Farms next shed pack release. Now this is the 81 x 120 shop pack. This is the fourth shed that they will have released into Farming Simulator 22. We've already seen the scale house pack, the 72 x 150 shed pack and the 90 by 200 cold storage shed. Uh, but here we have the 81x120 shop pack. So we'll go around and have a look at the features of it. Uh, very well detailed and up to the high standards that Trailer Park Farms have. So we'll have a look on in the inside of it very soon. Have a look around the outside as well. And uh, some of the cool little features they've included in it. But before we do that, let's take a look in the build menu. See what we can do, how much it costs and uh, some of the different options around the colours. So you can see it here, $300,000 is the build price for it. Now there are eight different options in here and this is relation to the colours. So you can define the base colour for the walls. Now we've got ours already put in here with the red. Uh, but if you go through, we've got the brown, there is a blue wall, uh, sort of a brownie colour, a darker red, dark grey, green, a light grey, the red we've used and also a white. Now if we just pop in here with the white, now you can see there what colour is white. Now if we just use N and M keys, we can scroll through the colours and actually changes the roof colour, it changes the trim down the bottom colour. Also if we just zoom in, try and find the best place to do that, it also changes the colour on the window trims. So you can see we go through the cream, brown, light brown, sort of more of a darker brown, back to a red, green, grey, blue and back to a lighter grey. Darker red, green again. Uh, so a number of different options there for the roof colours and the trim colours. So that is obviously because Giants only allows one item to be colour changed. You can't go in and colour change, let's say, the trim. So to get around that, we have got the eight different options there to build from. Uh, so like I said, $300,000 and you do get, place this one down, do get the concrete apron which comes with it. Uh, we've landscaped around the one we're looking at here just to see what it looks like. Uh, but there you go, that is that place down, $300,000 for the shed. Let's go and take a look around. Lots and lots of uh, access ways. We've got two big doors, or one really, really large door on the end here with the roller door on the side. Uh, a person door in the front here, so we can come in and open that. Now you can't open the doors from the outside, which is very nice. Person door there, which does open. Uh, another big shed door down the back here, uh, so you can get access in from another side. If you had some equipment you parked in the back of the shed, get to that a lot easier. Another door here, another person door. We'll come in through this one and just have a look inside as we enter. So over here on the left, uh, we've got a control there for the door. And you can see the animation and the audio and everything that goes with that as it folds up. Uh, very nicely done, very nicely animated and uh, very, very accurate door. I do like that. But it all goes up there. We've obviously got another one up the front here, which is even wider. Uh, what I do like, come and stand there, the triggers are very, very clearly defined. So there you go, that is a rather large tilted door. And then if we come over here, we can obviously get the uh, smaller roller door. So like I said, very, very easy to manage triggers. Uh, I haven't had no issues whatsoever with getting one or the other or any clashes. Here we go, there's another person door on this side as well. So three ways you can get in there if all the doors are shut and then three rather large doors. So very, very easily accessible shed. Obviously you could bring some equipment, like I said, in the back here. I um, might have a planter backed in and then a combine in here, even with the header fixed, and we're going to have a look at that in just a little while. Now there is a light switch in here, and we'll press R, we'll turn the lights on, nice and bright, nice bright shed. And coming down the back, we'll just take a little bit more, we've got a pressure washer in here, which is cool, you can come in and obviously wash your equipment in there, there is a grate down the bottom, so don't worry too much about water overflow or anything like that, uh, but that is cool to see that in there. Now I know that was something that Legacy Ag added into his shed as well and uh, something Trailer Park Farms have got there because they also have the workshop trigger down the very back. Can't walk through the, uh, can't walk through the shelving, you've got to go around it. So we come into here and you can see we do have our trigger there for repairs or configuration of your vehicles. And we're just going to take a look over here, we will find that we do have a light switch there so we can turn on the lights underneath this uh, lowered area. And heading on over this direction, we've got our office. We come in through there. In through the door, got a microwave, coffee pot, pot plant, lots of storage, filing and everything like that. Come around the back, you can see we've got our uh, computer. If you're into a little bit of role playing, you can do that. So got some lights over here, which we can turn on in this area. Make it bright as you would like. 
So a few other features now that we've looked at all the lights and doors and things like that. We come over here, we've got a heater on this side. Come to the switch there and turn that on. We hear the heater start up, up the top. And if we go and poke our head out there, you can see we've got a uh, smoke effect, steam effect on the heater exhaust. So uh, you can tell that the heater is on both from the audio inside and also from the visuals on the outside. Just come in and turn that off because we're going to go and pop over to the other side. Where there is a, another switch and this is on the fan so you can see the fan there is uh, closed up come and turn that on you can see the uh, louvers there as the fans turned on the louvers are now open now there's no effect or anything on that other than the audio come around the outside you can see the fan turning and uh, moving there but uh, nothing no dust or anything being emitted on the fan but uh, very nice such cool little features just little elements that add to the uh, quality of the shed now there is a little upstairs area, sort of a storage area for parts and pieces. You come around here, have a little bit of a look around. You can see some uh, GPS receivers, some boxes on the shelving. Just different bits and pieces floating around up here. Uh, just all decoration, nothing you can pick up or anything like that. But all part of, uh, I guess, making the shed feel like it is a part of the farm and well used and well organised. Now, one of the things I really do like, and this is a little bit of a novelty, I did notice the restroom, we came in here and had a look at it, uh, but what I didn't realise until I was chatting to Trailer Park Farms earlier about this, we come and stand next to the toilet, there is a trigger there which lowers the door and gives a flushing sound. Again, just a little novelty thing, but uh, something he's been looking and wanting to do for quite a while in uh, one of his sheds, and this one gave him the opportunity. So we come back in here and press the button again and the toilet lid will go back up we do have some lights here in the bathroom as well you can see we've turned those on nice and bright I think there might be a little bit of an overlap of lighting with the outside lights on as well but uh that's all right i don't think you can be too worried about being in there for too long so lots of neat little features here in the shed uh, i like the workshop trigger i do like having the power washer inside a big fan of that and obviously the size of the doors those are probably the three key parts to this uh Decoration wise and, and decor wise it really feels like a well used well occupied shed not bland and boring or plain or anything like that lots of little features that have gone into it and uh, the colour options the materiality everything like that you get a really good three dimensional sense on there uh, very well detailed very well done uh, and I do like that I've got the bollards there protecting the doors as well but the shed's only as good as what you can fit into it so let's just take a quick look at uh, how it works when you try and put a combine in there with a rather large header on so what better way to test the access width than using a x9 with the hopper unfolded and a 50 foot header on it now we're just going to slowly approach the door you can see we're pretty close on this side i'm around the other side we're a little bit further away but mindful of the shelving there but we can quite easily quite comfortably fit a X9 with a 50 foot header. Now the obviously the 60 foot Midwest Juris header wouldn't fit in there, but uh, that has fitted perfectly with the hopper open as well. So if you want wanting to maintain your combine or anything like that, uh, you can come in here and do that once it's wash it off. Whatever you might want to do, you can fit some pretty large equipment in here. And if we have a look around, still have space at the front to uh, come in through the other door and bring something in this way as well. So very very nice to see. Very good shed and uh, lots of space in it as well so this is the 81 by 120 shop pack from trailer park farms a very nicely detailed uh, workshop shed that has a workshop trigger and a power washer included as well as a number of other features such as the heater uh, the fan and a flushing toilet so very nicely detailed very nice options on the shed lots of uh, lots of features and perfect for using on your larger farms where you want to have a well appointed uh, well considered shop to supplement all your other sheds and storage needs so i uh, highly recommend going and downloading this from trailer park farms from their itch.io page go and check them out if you haven't already downloaded their other three sheds i'd suggest going and doing that as well they're all color matched so you can uh, Pick and choose whichever colour you'd like to build your farm in and uh, have sheds that match across the whole lot, across all four different options. So keep an eye out for this coming out very, very soon uh, and uh, go and give it a download. So as always, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.